Well, people call me a hero, but I'm not sure what part of it makes me a hero. I just had a normal day at work that turned ugly. You want to talk about being modest. Staff Sergeant Travis Mills lost both of his arms and both of his legs in that explosion in Afghanistan back in 2012. And now a new movie documents the unimaginable physical and emotional challenges that he continues to face every day. Staff Sergeant Mills joins us now. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thank, I really do apologize. My alarm went off at 545 and I was supposed to be downstairs. Um, time change, maybe, I don't know what I... Don't worry about it, we're just glad here. you're here. Yeah. It's such an incredible story that you have. You are one of five quadruple amputees from the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan to survive your injuries. Why was it important to you to make this documentary? Well, I'm a pretty open guy. Everybody wanted to stare at me anyway, so I figured, why not? Um, <laughs> I got a phone call or a text message or email, I guess, email from this lady who was like, hey, we want to do a 10-minute short film about your, uh, you and do a you know, photography session for your family. And we were like, okay, no problem. Uh, they came to the house and they had their nonprofit photo anthropy, but now I just call her Katie and we're really good friends and uh, she produced the whole thing and you know it, it was important I guess to get the story out there because I'm not a sob story. I'm just a guy that lives life with my wife and my child and, and go about it every day like I should. I drive a, drive a big truck so with my feet. <laughs> get her that, done. Whatever, in, you know, fake or whatever. It, your motto is uh, never give up and never quit, but I'm guessing through this recovery there have been points in time in which that motto was kind of put to the test. Tell us more about that. Well, absolutely. I think, I think it was um, in the beginning, never know what's going to happen. I was too embarrassed to like, talk to my wife when I first arrived at Walter Reed. Mm -hmm. um, but I met a gentleman, Corporal Todd Nicely of the Marine Corps, who was the second ever. He came walking in my room and told me, hey man, check it out, it gets better. So from then I uh, argued with the doctors about going to physical therapy. And for four hours, I called him every half hour on, uh, for four hours straight until he finally said, you can go finally. I laid down my stomach for the first day of PT and uh, I fell asleep, but it was phenomenal. And once I saw it could be done, I realized I might as well just go ahead and do it. Uh, nobody's gonna make me get better but myself. So with uh, you know, the great efforts of Walter Reed and the therapist, uh, physical and occupational, I'm, I'm glad to be standing here today talking with you. So are we. Uh, we were looking at video you had of your family there too. You know, there's. We're so grateful for your service, first and foremost. What can we do, what can people do to support, you know, our men and women who are serving overseas and their families and the toll it takes on them? Well, there's a lot of support out there, and I, I definitely am appreciative of it. Um, I started the Travis Mills Foundation, where I'm going to be building uh, a veterans camp in Maine to bring veterans out and get them out of their house and uh, join it up, hopefully, with VFW American Legion Post and, you know, have them not so secluded. But there's other great organizations out there. We're actually fortunate to have Operation Warrior Wishes who sponsored the event or um, set the screening up in Chicago for us. So we could come here and have the firefighters uh, at the airport do a water cannon salute yeah. and all this stuff I didn't expect. I, I was underdressed completely <laughs> and uh, things like that. But you know, the, there's so many great organizations out there if you want to help. Um, Garrison East Foundation is another great one. They're actually building my wife and I a smart home in Maine and wow. we're moving in a month. Yeah, we were just uh, with him and you know, just we. I definitely appreciate everybody just saying hi and not even thank you. I just had a rough day at work. Yeah, you know, to be honest with you, you can tell that he, he likes to joke, right? Yes. And you, you are incredibly humbled in what you've been through. But on a serious note, from coast to coast, as you travel the country, you inspire a lot of people. And what does that mean to you? Well, I figure if uh, my story helps somebody and helps them get through a rough time, um, that's not a bad thing. And the way I go about it is I have to get better for my family. So. If someone wants to come up and say hi and appreciate what I'm going through, what I'm doing, and relate it to them, then then let's do it. Let's let's yeah. try to push it forward and help everybody out. Welcome I want to remind home, people Sergeant. people at home that the film is uh, playing tonight at 6:30 at AMC uh, River East. If you can make it out, it's truly an amazing documentary. Thank you, Travis, for being here with us. Oh, thank you yeah. so much. I okay, it. you got and it. As we said, thank you for your service and welcome home.